Okay. Happy Sunday. I don't know when this video will be out, but right now it is Sunday. So happy Sunday. Something came into my spirit and I wanted to pull over and just give a quick video to help you out. Especially if you are a believer. Listen. You are designed. You are created. You are better off living as a unconditional worshiper. Unconditional worshiper. That means you worship God. You appreciate God. You praise God no matter what happened in your life. That is an unconditional worshiper. Until you live like that, you will never understand the true meaning of life and have access to eternal favor of God Almighty. I repeat, until you live and breathe and worship and survive as an unconditional worshiper. Somebody who worship God, somebody who appreciate, appreciate God, no matter what happens. Until you have that in your system, you will never understand the true meaning of life and have access to the eternal supernatural favor of God Almighty. So, three things you need to know as a unconditional worshiper. Okay, as a unconditional worshiper, you need to walk in authority. Walk in authority. That means you do not allow yourself to be overwhelmed with circumstances, tragedies, problems, negative situations, your emotion, the drama in your life. People, the wrong people in your life, you do not allow them to overwhelm you. You may go through them, you may be affected by them, but you do not allow them to disturb your faith. Walk in authority. Ask the Holy Spirit when you pray to help you lift your mind so that you can walk in authority. So, as an unconditional worshiper, you have the ability from God Almighty to walk in authority. In other words, do not let anything overwhelm you to the point in which you feel like giving up. You lose your peace. You lose your joy. You lose your sanity. No, 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 no. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Walk in authority. Okay. Number two. As a unconditional worshiper, you must walk with purpose. Yes, you have a purpose in life. Whatever you do, your purpose is to magnify God. You help people. You become a friend to the homeless. You serve by working in the soup kitchen. Or maybe you take the time to minister to your children and their friends or your loved ones. You, um, you collect clothes for the poor. You, you consistently help and support charities. You work in the church or you work somewhere that helps the less unfortunate. All for the glory of God. 
your purpose in this life is to glorify God. Find a way to glorify God and do it consistently. Do it frequently so that people can see Christ, Jesus, in you. That's what you do as an unconditional worshiper. Walk with purpose. Okay, number three, walk in his love as an unconditional worshiper. You can walk in his love. That means you need to share your love everywhere you go. It does not mean you can condone everything that people do, but you can show people the love of God. You can still show people the love of God. Why? Because when you think of all that God has done for you, you if you truly, truly understand the, the, the magnitude of what God done for you, He died on the cross for you. For your sin. Even though you would not believe in Him until now. He, he died for us. He died for me. And I didn't come to him until I was 16 years old. He died for us on the cross. Even though he knew majority of the world will not acknowledge him. And yet he still died for us on the cross. That's love. That's love. You know that old song, I love the Lord because he first loved me. If you truly understand the love of God, you can't help but to share His love everywhere you go. Because of His love, you know you can make it through anything. Because of His love, you know you are not alone. Because of His love, you can get through anything that comes against you. Because of His love, you know grace. Because of His love, you know mercy. The least you can do is walk in his love. So, people, if you want to be an unconditional worshiper, just follow him. Just follow him and say, God, be the head of my life. I confess my sin. I need you to be my Savior. Save me in the name of Jesus. So, you do that and take a deep breath. And make a commitment. As an unconditional worshiper. You have the power. To walk. In authority. You have the power. To walk. With purpose. You have the power. To walk in his love. Then. And only then. You will reap. And draw in. All the blessings. That God has in store for those who believe in Him. You become authorized, authorized to live in His supernatural favor. I repeat, walk <clears throat> in authority, walk with purpose, walk in love. As an unconditional worshiper. And then, and only then, you know truly that you are authorized to experience His supernatural favor for the rest of your life. God bless.